I'm going to have a brief description of the teardown and um, with some slides and some video from uh, my uh, teardown of my NP205 out of my Dodge 1990 Cummins diesel. Uh, there wasn't a lot of stuff out there for the Dodges. That's the 29 spline uh, big bearing case. And so I decided to make something here to maybe help some people that are uh, considering doing the same job. It's not extremely difficult and uh, I would have liked to have had some of the information when I started but in any case it's not a definitive all-inclusive it's you know this is just informational only and uh, if you have some better ideas and make a better video um, but this is just meant to help uh, seems to be so little information on the Dodge stuff so here we go Well, the first step after you clean your case is, and paint it, this is the time you want to do that. Also, you want to make particular attention that you clean all your gasket surfaces, ceiling areas, and all the bolt holes of any debris or trash that may have come during the teardown process. Here's our uh, kit. From, uh, mine it's from Off-Road Designs. It'll have your, uh, your shims, lock rings, lots of roller bearings, needle bearings, seals, and of course all your gasket set. So let's get started. First thing you want to do if you're going to replace your bearings, you want to go ahead and pound out your races and put some new ones in. Be careful not to uh, put steel on steel. I'm using a brass rod here. out of your uh, cluster gear, your idler cluster gear, so that, and these weren't too bad again I say, but since I already had the new ones, I'm going to go ahead and replace them. And the next step is you want to clean the, that area out before you put in your new races, then you're in business. Uh, you want to put your races in. Try to keep it level. And when you get down to that last little bit, you can use the old the back side of the old race that you took out. To make sure it's fully seated on that inner wall there. And you can tell when it changes the sound there that it's you're getting that solid. And you know it's completely set. Then the races are in, you're ready to uh, begin fitting your uh, idler gear. Okay, we got the uh, cluster gear in, the idler cluster shimmed out to about one thou. And uh, she spins nice, and then we torque the nut to 130, 
some specs say 150, others say 90 to 130, so I went with 130. And uh, it looks good. Now we'll move on to the uh, next step. Okay, next we're going to uh, replace the needle bearings in the front uh, output or four wheel drive shaft. So, we need to disassemble this shaft, thrust bearing, the gear, clutch slider, and then you'll need to remove this snap ring here, and that'll disassemble the shaft from this gear. And you can replace your needle bearings and press off. That snap ring off and that aft gear there, you're, uh, there's going to be a, lots of little needle bearings that go everywhere, so pay attention to those. And then you can either inspect and clean up and reassemble or put new, whatever, whichever way you're going. And this is the, uh, the new needle bearings installed. I used a grease to hold them in there. You know, I don't know how anybody else does it, but that's what I do. And uh, a lot of people don't show you the little ins and outs, so... The miner was a double row of rollers separated by a shim in there, so make sure you get the right number and in the right order, and uh, then you can reassemble the big gears and snap rings. Okay, putting the uh, output gear for the four-wheel drive unit, putting that uh, gear assembly into place is a little tricky, so I propped the uh, one end up on some wood there and put your uh, sliding clutch fork um, into the fork and... Uh, Position your forward gear underneath the fork and then slide the big assembly into it and Then when it comes out you can you can see you just uh, line up the bearing there And then you're all set. It's a little tricky, but you have to probably turn the uh, Input shaft on the other side to get it to completely line up But a little jiggling not a lot of hammering and you'll get it Alright, after we got the uh, four wheel drive gear in, um, now um, we're ready to put the back cover plate on. I knocked out the, uh, the old bearing, installed the new one, we'll put a gasket and uh, torque it out. Keep moving. Alright, we're going to continue. This is the uh, main output shaft. <clears throat> we'll continue just as we did with the other one. You remove the, uh, the big snap ring and your shims, thrust washers, and a little detent on there is holding me out just a little bit. And after you get your thrust washer off, um, well, you may do like me and fight that for about 10 minutes before you realize that little detent pin has to come out. But you just pop the little pin out, and then the uh, washer will come out, and then I'll expose the uh, needle bearings, and then you can change them out and put it all back together. And this is really these all these needle bearings that fall over everywhere. This is the only thing that I've seen anywhere on this entire case is these two thrust washers have shown somewhere. But other than that, there's nothing really that needed to be changed. Looks really good. All right. So there's the uh, roller bearing, new roller bearings installed, uh, needle bearings. And uh, <clears throat> then we'll put the gear back on in the other uh, thrust washer. That's what I use grease to hold them together. Some people use Vaseline, whatever works for you. Um, but just be very careful putting it all back together because they go everywhere. Yeah. And then you can put your snap rings back on and seat it down in the groove. Honestly, the biggest part of this whole job is taking in and out these snap rings. They're very stout. You better have some good tools to do it. And then we'll be ready to put the needle bearings in, uh, in the back side and put it back and together. This is the main output shaft after it's reinstalled. Then um, got to put a seal in the aft housing and a through bearing and uh, we'll be ready to button it up 
We're just about done with this puppy. Okay, we got the aft housing on that bearing tapped out. And uh, I'll get the uh, little speedometer gear. And we'll put the aft cover on. We'll be golden.